Hey guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of Love Live Nitsukasaki School Idol Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What can I say about Shizuko? There's a lot I can kind of say. It's just so pretty. And I am you. Her one woman show is nice. I am you. me mm. True. Mm. This is so cute. Got a lover. Oh. <clears throat> or at least let her re audition. So then what happened? Okay, okay, okay. So who got the role then? Like, we just want to know. We just want to talk and then have her at least compete for it. Like, at least one more time. I mean, this is she's a good we're talking about. I mean, she's one of them original girls before the rest of the girls came in that, honestly, I really, really liked. And I think, and, I, and I've kind of said this. I didn't say this in any past video, but if I didn't choose Kanata as my best girl, she would have been, like, that first choice after Kanata. But I love her outfits. Honestly, if they show her pirate outfit in her music video, because that is, like, the best costume for her besides her very first one. I mean, honestly, she's just adorable. And I love the fact that she's an actress and she's sweet. Bubbly. Hella bubbly. Probably her, her Ayamu and Kasumi and, um... Yuki, Nana, Nana, Nana. There we go. Hella bubbly. <laughs> Katana is sleepy bubbly. <laughs> How can you be sleepy and bubbly at the same time? But Katana can figure it out. It's Katana. <laughs> My neck is still killing me. Ah, congratulations! Yeah, it would be nice. 
And not only to get a regular interview, but also a video interview. No. Mm-hmm. But still, something tells me she's still going to get it because... She's going to portray her emotions into song. And so when her performance shows up, that's when we'll say it. Oh, God, this is so pretty. Oh, I get that. I get that. Poor baby. She's her toughest critic. And of course, we we all are like that. Uh. Where are you going? What are you guys going to do? Where are you going? <laughs> Pancakes? Layers is that? <laughs> I would love to have some. Go on. Good. Uh huh. Good luck. <laughs> Their mall is just pretty too. What the heck? That just I can't with this show. Everything about this show is so damn pretty. Audrey? Like Audrey Hepburn? Of course. Yeah. 
You could have told everyone and everybody would have been here for you. You say that though. But it's written all over your face. I honestly love, 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 love the way they're doing this. I mean, oh, God. This might have to be my favorite episode. Because, number one, I think I'm getting, like, Ruby Starlight vibes with that. She's just in her head right now. Hmm? Hmm. Me, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my child is making me cry. Oh my god. friend. Yes, look at me. Well, <laughs> but you're not, though. <laughs> You've been crying, haven't you? Come on. Yes, you can. I get that. Yeah. Oh God, this episode is just hitting me in a nutshell. Like, oh.
Yes, you can. Of course you are! <laughs> You better sing that song to consume me. Oh my god. I mean, it would have been better if we got to see it, but no, it's okay. It's okay. That emotion that I'm feeling right now, I can't. That was perfect. Oh my
That was so good. Oh my god. Oh, she's so fresh. She's like, I love her. We love her. My God. Mm. Not the best girl, though, but mm, second best girl in my book. She's honestly, after seeing this episode, like, oh, God, this was just like the message was literally me in a nutshell. Like, uh, oh, God. But her song was so pretty. Honestly, that is a song where you really you need to listen to when you're trying to get your confidence back and everybody has a hard time of getting their confidence back and it takes a while but that's something that you really need to listen to i would say for anybody that was a really good song these last two episodes and they songs like oh my god mm. them so we got two emotional songs up in this i mean even though shizuku was singing it for herself you know, Kasumi was there, like, hyping her up, like, you got this, you get the girlfriend, he's so cute, I can't stop it, like, <laughs> my feelings, my emotions, Jesus Christ, but, I mean, did I expect this episode was gonna make me cry? No, I was not expecting this episode to make me tear up and cry a little bit, but, like, uh, this was a good episode, Jesus, like, I don't know how they're going to do Cotton. Cotton's the last one in this group. A.K.A. a queen with the best damn song ever in the game. And she's the only one left. My biggest thing is, like, what possibly is caught in hiding? There is something else. And I think it's really, we, we've we kind of seen it. And it's more of her struggling going from a model, being a model and an idol at the same time. And how some girls, or really not even some girls, anyone, multitasking. In a way, she's kind of, since she's officially joined the group for two, three episodes now, she's doing it, but we haven't really seen her, you know, go back and forth into doing everything all the entire time and to the point where she gets maybe a little anxiety with it, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. This is just little guesses from that preview, but I think next week is going to be probably a really another emotional episode i mean honestly all of these episodes for these nine girls except one eight episodes have been really really emotional uh, just the way each girl has portrayed themselves the way the songs have gone for each girl and how they want to be portrayed and taken into the um into their group as a person and such but like oh my god just as I said these last two episodes were literally the best I love the way honestly how these girls are well written and it's only the fact is I mean god I ain't gonna say and this is not me saying this thing to be bad or anything every girl in the love live series is well written well developed there are sometimes a little bit of points that i feel like they may be especially um when i started watching the show that i wish that we got a little more time with them and i mean with two seasons and i feel like they're gonna have another season of this show we just don't know when it's gonna come out probably maybe like two or three years from now um who knows what else they could do but like these girls and the way um the animation studio that animates this and, uh, and also writing this, they've made these girls like so freaking relatable. I mean, a lot of people can relate to both Muse and Aqua, but 
these girls, I feel like for me, I relate a lot more to. There were times where I was, when I was watching Love Live and Love Live Sunshine, I could relate to Rico or Mari or Kanan or My Best Girl Knows Me or Hanayo or Kotiri and st- uh, Kotiri. But these girls, even though we haven't seen Cottons yet, I felt like from episode one to now, I relate to so much their struggles and wanting what they want to be for the rest of their life, what they want to do now and how they're trying to get there and stuff. Like, I think a lot of people can kind of agree with me on that. I don't know. I, I mean, mm, we'll have to see. But yeah, I mean, this is a really good episode. I Like, still love the way how it was portrayed. I mean, even though it was somebody who was wearing a wig who looked exactly like she's who, there were times where she was like stuck in her head and it was literally her talking to herself as a one woman show. And she did a really good portrayal of it. Like, oh, like 10 out of 10, damn it. I mean, mm, so, so good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of Love Live Yuji Kasaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 9. Bye, guys.